The sheer magnitude of the coronavirus can, of course, no doubt be overwhelming. So many of you have been asking, what can I do to help? Meredith Stutz reports on the unexpected group of sewers quickly approaching a big milestone in the fight against COVID-19. Marissa Joyce is quick to admit the coronavirus left her feeling powerless, but not useless. She and two friends decided they wanted to help those on the front lines, and they are, by assembling an army of strangers. While stay-at-home orders may keep us from gathering, there's still plenty of community happening on Facebook, which is why Joyce and her friends started Project Mask WS. The goal? Well, make about 200 masks. Now they're approaching 20,000. There is no way that the three of us could have ever dreamed of what was about to come. And there's no way that we could do this without just the army of sewists, of um, laundresses, of ironers, of transporters. The whole community has come together in a really overwhelming way. The page boasts more than 2,000 members in the local Winston-Salem area, and all of these sewing soldiers threaded with the same goal. And I wanted to do good for my country, for my community and help health care workers too. Including this mom, she's part of a sub team of sewers who are refugees. She says personal bouts of racial discrimination during the pandemic pushed her and her family to help. So far, she and her team have personally made 2000 masks and counting. This has frankly been an amazing exercise in hope and in love for our community. The people on this Facebook group I've never met, but I feel like we are all working together. So in this time of social isolation, I've honestly never felt more connected to my own community. Connected through patterns, prints, and compassion. Ask not why your, what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. But if they believe that, and me and my husband, we try to help the community. Joyce says they still need plenty of help of making and delivering those masks to hospitals, nursing homes, homeless shelters, even VA facilities here in the triad area. To get involved or to donate, click on this story on our website. Joyce says once the stay at home order is lifted, she hopes to gather her army together to meet face to face, not just on Facebook. Reporting in Winston-Salem, Meredith Stutz, WXII, 12 News.